Profex contains some tools for purely educational purpose and one of them is the tool uh, Browse Atomic Scattering Factors. This opens a dialog in which we can display the atomic scattering factors as a function of the diffraction angle. So for example, if we select the oxygen atom, the neutral one, and we select our wavelength, let's use copper K alpha 1 radiation, we see the, the scattering power of oxygen as a function of the diffraction angle in a funny unit in uh, sinus theta divided by lambda. That's the common unit to display this graph. But if we move the cursor around, we see the two theta value uh, corresponding to this position. So for example, we can see that um, starting from zero degrees, uh, if we go up to higher diffraction angle, here we are at 50 degrees, we lose about half of the scattering power. Now, if, if we select another one, if we hold control and select the oxygen ion, the O minus two, we can compare the two scattering factors. And now we can see that above around 60 degrees and higher, we cannot distinguish uh, oxygen neutral from the oxygen ion anymore. They have the same scattering power. But at low diffraction angle, we get less scattering from the neutral one because the charged one is, is negatively charged, so it contains two electrons more than the neutral oxygen, so we get more diffracted intensity from O minus two. And we can select many, many ions and compare also, for example, aluminum with silicon. Now this is the opposite, they start at the same uh, scattering power because they contain the same number of electrons, but towards higher angles uh, we see a tiny difference in the scattering power. There's also a box for the Debye-Waller factor, so for, for the thermal vibration of the atoms, and if we enter a positive value, I'm just using the scroll wheel of the mouse to increase this value, we can see that now we get two curves for each selected atom, Let's just select one. Um, and now we can see that without thermal vibration, the top curve, we get more scattering power than with a high amount of thermal vibration because uh, the, the atomic position is smeared. Uh, we get more interference among the scattered waves, so more attenuation of the scattered radiation. And with this button, we can reset the Debye-Waller factor back to zero. And down here, we have a few uh, export possibilities. Here, we can export this, these curves as a CSV value, as a text file, and import it in other software if we want to, to use these graphs in some other sort of uh, figures. And this button will export this graph as a PDF file and this one as a pixel graph.